hello there and welcome to another episode of Let's Play 3 Random PC Engine Games and if you haven't seen an episode of this series before I don't think I need to explain too much what I do in this. In each episode I pick 3 PC Engine Games at random using the wheel of names on the internet and I play each game for 10 minutes or 1 credit whichever one lasts the shortest. So with that in mind let's spin the wheel and find out what game I'm playing first. And first up this time around is F1 Circus 92, which I think is going to be a driving game. Let's load it up. Okay, so the game begins. It's presented by Nichibutsu. Reasonably good name for video games, so it shouldn't be too bad. F1 Circus. Very plain text intro. Okay, now we've got a bit more of an intro, so it's going to go through a bunch of F1 drivers. Ayrton Senna there and Gerhard Berger. Uh, yeah, I haven't got time for this, have I? Let's get on and get to the title screen. There we go, F1 Circus 92, The Speed of Sound. Uh, from Nichibutsu, as I mentioned, also licensed by FOCA, Formula One, something or other, uh, to Fuji Television, and also Nihon Busan Corporation is mentioned as well, which is just another name for Nichibutsu, I think. Uh, so, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just press run and, and get to the, the uh, options screen if there is one. And there is, so there's three options, there's training, test drive and world championship, let's just have a quick look at training. I'm guessing test drive is just a, a shortened version of the world championship. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, so you can you can do some practice stuff of how to navigate through various things by the looks of it. Including tight corners, hairpin curves, chicanes uh, and stuff like that, but we can't be bothered with that, let's just get in and play the game. So let's start with the world championship. New entry. Oh, I can put my name in. Seems like plenty of the text is in English, so that's good news. Help me work my way through it. But not that bit of text, but there's plenty of stuff behind it that makes it very obvious. Team select. Oh, I'll have to pick that one. I pressed the button by accident there, but one team's probably as good as any other. Didn't look like there was a huge selection of teams to choose from there, but these are obviously the manufacturers of the different Formula 1 cars at this point in time in 1992. Uh, yeah, I'll just pick that guy, uh, all Marino. And there's our manager, who's a very attractive looking lady, looks a little bit like Sharon Stone. Uh, it's probably not a, the most obvious or likely Formula One manager, I would imagine. Uh, I should probably start the timer going, I suppose. Uh, 10 minutes is what I'm gonna do, and I should probably use that 10 minutes up because I'm guessing you don't get game over on this. What is going on here? Uh, well, let's just press a button. Okay, I've got to choose some courses. So, uh, well, let's start with the British one, shall we? And then uh, Spanish, Canadian, Belgian, Portuguese. Yeah, whatever. Just pick, pick whatever. I don't really care. I'm not going to be playing it for this long. Okay, total 15. I guess I'm done. Am I? No, I can do 16. Oh, I should have done the Nichibutsu one, but never mind, that'll do. Let's get on and see if we can actually do some driving. So we've got free run, practice, regulation. What's regulation? Oh, okay. Engine. Oh, these are options then. Uh, engine volume, game speed, qualifying, um, other cars, wing damage. Yeah, okay, lots of options there. Uh, GP data, best lap. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. It's probably just the lap times when you've actually done something. Backup presumably gives you some kind of password to save because it did mention a password at the beginning. Uh, free run or practice? Uh, well, let's try a free run just since I've never played it before. See what it looks like. Okay, let's go. Oh, blimey, so there's a load of options now for the different settings of the car. So steering, front wing, rear wing, tires. Um, suspension, all the usual stuff. Mission, transmission that is, I'll stick with automatic. Gears, uh, yeah, I don't know really what that means, but let's change that just for the sake of changing something. Brakes, normal, powerful, or auto stop. Let's go with powerful brakes. Right, let's go with that. Let's get on with the game. Okay, so it's a top down uh, scrolling thing. Let's go. How do I go? 
oh okay I'm gonna push down uh, put me in first gear and now I think yeah it's automatic it's changing gear automatically so yeah pretty fast scrolling nice overhead view graphics there's a few arcade games like this I think in this sort of era this may well be an arcade game for all I know oh I've come off um, so yeah quite precise controls and uh, it doesn't auto center so uh, you just tap the button left or right and it turns a little bit and stays going in that direction um, so that could prove problematic uh, but it's yeah one button to accelerate the other one brakes as you'd expect and uh, left and right to steer uh, and yeah it's it's pretty good vertically scrolling it's one of these weird ones I think where you go round corners but you're always still driving upwards uh, you don't drive back down the screen when you uh, change direction uh, which is a bit unbelievable when you think that uh, any Formula 1 circuit is going to be just that, a circuit. Um, but anyway, it seems pretty good so far. You've got the usual engine noises. Bit of music in the background that I can barely hear. Ooh, almost went into the pit lane then, but didn't. So I managed to do a lap. Uh, not a very quick lap, but there we go. Uh, so with that in mind, let's, let's now go and try some practice. How do I get out of this? Ooh. Uh, there we go, I think I'm out. Okay, let's try to practice, see how I get on. So this is giving me all the lap times of the other competitors, some very well-known names from the Formula 1 scene at that point in time. We can see Martin Brundle, Johnny Herbert, um, Mika Hakkinen. This goes on a bit, doesn't it? Can we get past that? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with all the defaults. Get going. Come on then, let me go. It's weird I have to push down to start. Um, that's obviously doing gear changes, but you don't do gear changes because it's in automatic. So, let's see how I get on. got some more upbeat or more audible music in the background than it did have I think on the practice mode or the this is the practice mode but oh dear oh I'm still I thought I crashed into some tires then yeah this isn't going particularly well but uh, to give me a flavor of the game which is what this series is all about and uh, it seems like we're good I quite like these top-down scrolling uh, racing games I played a few of them and uh, always found them quite enjoyable I mean, I don't get a huge amount of fun out of Formula 1 games, I must admit. I'm not really a big fan of uh, motor racing, but um, the controls are very uh, responsive, so that's good. Uh, graphics are pretty nice. They're going by very quickly. It's making my eyes hurt a little bit, in fact. Ooh, oh. Well, that wasn't fatal, at least. Quite a nice course, it's not too difficult a course, I don't think. Not that I've played any of the others, so I don't really know. Ooh, no, don't do there. Oh, oh, okay, I've crashed, and now I've got to retire. Okay. Hang on, I did one lap. Why is it not giving me a lap time? Maybe because it has to be under 60 seconds and I didn't do it in under 60 seconds, I don't know. Let's. Can we move on from this? I don't care how everyone else has done. Nigel Mansell's up at the top there, as you'd expect for this era. Yeah. Okay, we've got another chance. Second practice. Let's go. Um, what am I doing here? Yeah, let's just stick, stick with it again. Oh, what's... Oh, it's gone crazy. For some reason, I've lost control. Here we go. Let's give it another go. Try not to crash this time, eh? Oh, <laughs> that's not a good start.
music seems louder again this time. I don't know. If it's just to put more pressure on you or make it more fun. I don't know. But I, I like. Oh, I like the fact that I've got. I should try using the brakes. You know, I haven't. I haven't tried using the brakes on a corner yet. When when it comes up telling you there's a corner that's red, it's probably advisable to stick the brakes on. Although that one was red and didn't seem that tricky, really. I'm not very good at this, but I don't mind it. It, it. it seems like quite a fun game. Could sort of game you could definitely get into. Yeah, that's over a minute for that lap, which is probably why I didn't get a time draw. Let's see if I can do a bit better. Second time around. Don't think I'm going to get into a race uh, because of the time my uh, predetermined set time limit for myself to play these games is pretty close to running out. I think now. Uh, but uh, I mean it would just be more of the same but with cars on the track I guess or the cars other than my own uh, but yeah it seems alright it seems like a pretty decent game uh, well programmed uh, obviously lots of depth to it with lots of different courses to race on Ooh, that's where I crashed last time so I've done better than the previous go um, so yeah seems, seems pretty good something I'll probably never look at again but wouldn't mind playing for a bit either having said that Ooh. That, that's going to cost me. I don't know how close I am to getting. Oh, I'm going to get. Oh, 57 seconds. So enough, enough to register a time, I think there, but probably not enough to qualify for the actual race. Oh dear. Yeah, it's quite fun to play though. I'm, I'm definitely not hating it. The landscapes are well drawn. They fly by quickly. There's no slowdown. I've got to retire now. Let's see what happens in the uh, end screen. Is it going to give me a lap time? Yeah, so you have to do it in less than a minute to get to qualify to get a lap time. And I finished rock bottom, of course. What does that mean in the grand scheme? Oh, it's, it's telling you all where people are moving around now in the different positions so you can see who's going to be uh, where on the grid. Am I going to get a chance to race? What is going on? This is a bit annoying that you have to sit and watch this and you can't skip it. Obviously a bit of AI in there of some description doing this for you, calculating the lap times for everyone. Time up. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Did not qualify. Well, that's not really a surprise, is it? Given how badly I did. So that's one way you're going to need a lot of practice, but um, not a bad little game. I imagine that's fairly cheap to get hold of. A lot of those... Um, Formula One games, you can pick up the who cards for them for not a, a huge amount of money. So it seems like a pretty decent version of one of those games, and there are quite a lot of them on the PC Engine. My timer has just run out, so that's perfect timing, really. Let's move on to game number two. The wheel is spinning once again, then, and next game for me to play is Circus Lido, another game with the word circus in the title. That's two in a row. So let's load it up and see what kind of game this is, because I've really got no idea. Okay, this is made by... I don't know what that is. I couldn't even tell what the uh, company name was there. Unipost Company Planning System. Okay, well that's colourful. Circus Lido logo there. Nicely cycling in a variety of colours. Uh, and as you can see, it was made in 1991. Let's push the run button and see what kind of a game this is. Okay, you can put a password in, which obviously I don't have, so let's just start. There's some kind of little lizard there. Stage one. Ooh, okay. Where am I? Oh, there I am at the bottom right. So I, I can... Ooh. I can uh, fire my tongue, so I'm a chameleon, I think. Uh, oh, I can jump. Push upwards as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting uh, movement mechanic, so... What is the aim of this game? Oh no, I've fallen all the way down again. So clearly... That's some very big bugs for me to eat. Oh, I can't eat them though. Okay, I've eaten someone and turned them into a bubble. Uh, and I've collected something. Oh, okay, now... No, I really don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's, it's turned back into something now. So... Can I get this thing? No, I can't kill that thing. 
I mean, it, it's got the look of, of a, a bubble bobble style game, maybe. If I can work out what the heck I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should have waited and watched the demo. Can I drop off here? I can. That didn't help. Oh, I've caught that thing. <laughs> I've really got no idea what's going on. Oh, they don't kill me. Okay, I can catch things. And then, what's the bubble do? It turns into a bubble. Oh, okay, and I can walk along it. What's this thing here? This is a bizarre game. But, kind of interesting. It's definitely got that single screen, bubble bubble esque platformer uh, look to it. Uh, but, with a very different uh, movement mechanic. I don't know what, what is the idea of the game? I'm seeing if I can quit out and see a demo because, oh yeah, I've given up. Oh, I don't, okay, I can't quit out. You can give up, but you can't quit back out to the menu. Have you even got lives? Yeah, you have. Okay. Yeah, okay, so pressing the select button blows you up. <laughs> Which you don't want to do by mistake. Okay, no, I don't want to continue. What I need is a demo of how to play this game. Let's see if we're going to get it. Not looking promising. Okay, I'm not going to get a demo, am I? So <laughs> I'm just going to have to try and work out how to play this thing. What, what could you possibly have to do? Okay, let, let's get this guy. Okay, so now I can shoot something. Okay, I shot him at one of the others and he sort of killed him for a little bit. I wonder if you have to shoot the bubble at one of them and then <laughs> and then use it to kill one of the other ones and make it when you hit one of the other ones with the bubble, um, it makes them smaller. Can you then eat them? No. There's bubbles, there's... Okay, that kills you. <laughs> I've got no idea what's going on here. I mean, it's, it's it's it looks like the sort of game I would like once I work out what the heck you're supposed to do. Because it's got... Right, so it's telling me at the top I've got one of those things in my grasp now. So if I throw it at that one, and then grab that one... I've maybe got to get three of them in a row? Or all of them in a row? Something like that? Let's try that. Odd game for sure. Oh, okay. I've got them all now. Okay, I've killed them all. And the, the door thing at the top's opened. And I completed the level. I mean, I don't... Yeah, so basically you've got to kill all the... Uh, things. <laughs> Insects and... Oh, wow, well, this suddenly got a lot more difficult. I can't kill those guys. Uh, what do I do here? Okay. Oh, no. I can't 
can't reach that. Hmm, okay. What's going on with that there? Can't destroy that either. Hmm, it's a bit of a puzzler. Maybe that's the thing, it, maybe it is a puzzler. I can't reach that. If I go close to these things I die. I mean, the graphics are nice and colourful, it's got the look of one of those single screen Japanese clear all the enemies off the level to progress games like Bubble, Bubble Bobble and Snow Brothers and those kind of things. I love those kind of games, so it's definitely got potential but it's a little bit weird uh, and the the, uh, the mechanism for destroying the enemies is a bit strange and also I can't work out now how to get up from this point. I know that if I walk into this it, it's going to kill me. Yep. Um, so, hmm, bit of a strange one. Why can't I get up there? I can't reach, that's his tail presumably going up there. I can't reach the, the platforms at all unless I can use diagonals. Nope. So where, what on earth am I supposed to do? It's really strange. What about this guy? Can I kill this guy? No. Can I hold down a button over the top of this? No. Can you jump? No. Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Strange, but I'm intrigued to perhaps give it a more of a try, and not when I'm not doing this video. <sighs> I mean, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. I can't work out how to get up there. It must be something to do with the arrows. Oh, I haven't tried is pushing down. What happens if I push down? No, just the same again. So up does that, down does that. Oh, 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 hang on a minute. What have we got here? How did I do that? Ah, okay. Pushing down next to these arrows moves the... Uh, corresponding coloured level, er, uh, like platform, moves that around. I'm, I'm finally on something. Oh. Okay, so I guess the idea. Can't get that one. I can't get that one. Oh, because I've got one in my mouth, I suppose. Oh. It's, it's a bit annoying, but. I'm slowly getting the idea of what I'm supposed to do. So, oh, why do I keep, it's annoying that I keep, keep falling down that. That one won't move anything though. Oh, it does. There we go, okay. So I can now get up to there. And then, So now I can get all the way up to the top of the level. How do I... Hang on a second. No, I can't move that there. How do I get onto these platforms? Okay, I've got another enemy there. Popped him back out. Okay, I get it. Because these don't kill you. What you've got to do is get them all one at a time, get them all... Oh, It's quite frustrating that you keep um, falling down. Okay, so get this guy, drop him down there. Get this guy, Drop him down there. Oh, well, he'll fall down there eventually, I guess. Will he? Come on, you come. No, he won't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the controls are a bit uh, annoying. Oh, get him down there as well. One to go. Spit him out as well. And then, what oh, are Gradually destroying them, I think. 
it's it's a bit quirky and a bit cumbersome with yeah so you probably have to feed yeah so i've got everything now you have to feed them to the uh to the venus fly traps of course get the flies and feed them to the venus fly traps and then once you've done that you complete the level i finally worked out how to play it uh, unfortunately my time limit is now run out um so i'm just gonna leave it at that point but it's taken 10 minutes but i've worked out pretty much oh i've died there and that's game over so that's good timing again um so yeah it's taken 10 minutes to work out how to play it but now i've worked out how to play it i do want to play it some more uh, which i won't do in this video but yeah that's an interesting one definitely one i'm gonna have a little bit more of a look at because that could be quite cool uh, it's definitely my kind of game the whole uh, kill all the enemies on the single screen platform with kind of cute colorful graphics and nice music and all that kind of good stuff so that'll do for another one let's move on now and see what the final game for this episode is going to be like so the wheel's spinning for the final time for this episode and the final game I'm going to be playing is Champions Forever. Let's load that up and see what it's like. Okay, lots of copyright information there and okay, so no doubt what kind of a game this is going to be. It's a boxing game because there's Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, some reasonably good digitised images of those boxers for this point in time. George Foreman got some kind of hip-hop background music as well oh it's even got some speech <laughs> hit it okay and there's a title screen nicely done typical sort of boxing game text oh we're back to the uh, previews of the people involved so we've got the options for one or two players or auto fight let's go with one player and you can do exhibition or career I mean I'm probably only going to play one match so let's just do an exhibition and put my name in I do like the uh, cheesy hip hop uh, backbeat with, um, with samples of various ring announcer noises okay so now I've got to choose a character or player uh, oh, okay, so I can pick pretty much anyone. So let's go with a big hitter, George Foreman. And I can go against Joe Frazier, Larry Holmes, Ken Norton, Carl Casey. And he's not a very good looking player. And nor is Rafael Chavez. So let's go against him. Give myself a chance against one of the weaker players. Um, or boxers, I should say. So there's a, the battle in Seattle. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, Presentation is very good on this, to be fair, so far. Let's see what the game's like, though. Okay, so we've got the ring announcer. Yeah, in that corner is nobody. Oh, he's not announcing the player or boxer names. So it's me. Uh, this is not what I look like in real life, in case you haven't seen me in real life. This is very much not what I look like. Okay, so let's go. So uh, D-pad moves the uh, guy around the ring and button two throws a punch button one though does nothing so you've literally got one button so you can't even throw left and right hands it's just literally you just box with your right hand it would appear what does the run button do oh that puts up your guard interesting so the button one doesn't do anything but the run button does something and the select button pauses so that's weird because usually the run button would pause and you'd use buttons one and two for your actions so okay so I've got to use the run button to put my guard up and then A to throw punches or oh, not A sorry two it is on the uh, PlayStation PlayStation PC engine pad oh dear uh, yeah so n not much variety in the punches either it just seems to be literally just throw a jab uh, there's no by moving the, the d-pad when you're punching nothing seems to happen uh, different so you're literally just throwing punches at the guy and hoping you can land them well I've got a few in there but yeah my my strength is running down and his is not running down at all a little bit there but yeah I mean the graphics are pretty nice uh, you know animations a bit jerky but they're kind of moving around all right when they switch sides it works okay um, the background of the crowd and the ring all okay but yeah the actual gameplay really boring <laughs> it's literally just 
throw punches and hope for the best and hope you don't hit, hit, get hit first and strangely I seem to have thrown a lot of punches um, and done no damage whatsoever and he's, he's I haven't seen him throw that many and he's worn my strength down really low and this is one of the weaker opponents based on his stats so it's not a good not promising start to proceedings it's I mean it's just really boring oh it's the end of the first round so no, it's giving you an overview of all the different type of hits that you had what's that then I can do some kind of get some medic thing going on oh, okay I can I don't know what's going on here oh, I've recovered some strength and we're on to round two I don't know what the other thing was the other option wow so you're really gonna play if you played the whole game and you last long enough you're gonna play 10 or 12 rounds of boxing at three minutes around and just doing this it's like there's literally this is anything you can do to throw punches uh, that are different you're just firing the same punches in every time I guess you do some different ones if you're up close maybe not really no <laughs> I must be missing something here I mean I feel like I'm hitting him there definitely got some hits in there and his, his strength's just not going down at all mine's getting battered yeah I mean this is a terrible game oh well I mean the other two were pretty good this this time around I was, I was bound to get at least one duffer um, but the F1 Circus was quite playable and the Circus Lido Lido was interesting I only just got to grips with it when the, my uh, self imposed time limit uh, ran out but I'd definitely go back and play that again I think but this one uh, yeah I mean it's just no strategy to it at all it's just throw punches and hope for the best uh, you can't even throw different types of punches by holding the button down in different ways so I'm um, yeah I'm not getting this at all uh, it's it's really boring but I'll persevere until either my aforementioned self-imposed time limit runs out or I get knocked out which I'm sure is gonna come because my health is at a really low level now what a boring game it's a shame because they've obviously licensed the names of lots of big name boxers and then made a really terrible game out of it like it can moonwalk across the screen but I'm definitely getting hits on him and yet somehow it seems like I'm not doing any damage whatsoever so I've got 10 10 10 across the board is that judgy scores um, and not got knocked down thrown 220 punches landed 87 and the other guys thrown 61 punches and landed 41 and yeah well okay so maybe strength is the sh my strength from throwing so many punches is, is running down and stamina is actually what I'm trying to wear down I'm not sure but either way I'm not doing any damage to this guy now when he hits me it's definitely my strength running down so so I'm throwing way more punches I'm landing more punches and yet I've done no damage whatsoever oh yeah let's just let him kill me or not me there we go I'm One, knocked out two, three, four, five, six, can I get up I'm pressing some buttons okay okay so now I, I tap I mash some buttons and I'm I've got up after being knocked out and my my strength is now back to full it just makes no sense not a very well thought out game how come I keep hitting him and it's doing no damage to him I'm running his strength down a little bit oh dear yeah I mean yeah I'll continue to the end of this round which will be uh, I think the round started off at two and a half minutes did they or something like that so this is my last but yeah I mean yeah he's knocked me One, out again two, three, four, Let's see if I can five, get up this time six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no he's got me I'm knocked out and frankly I'm glad because that was terrible uh, okay so yeah two pretty decent games one bad game uh, it's not been the worst episode of this series if you've got any thoughts about these games 
uh, if you've played them before and you can give me a bit more insight on how to play Circus Lido uh, more effectively than I did in my 10 minutes then yeah by all means let me know so look at that I mean I got the te 10 out of 10 from the judges the two successive rounds uh, and then just got knocked out I threw 500 punches compared to the other guys 196 landed 221 um, and just yeah but lost so that makes no sense whatsoever so yeah that's all for this episode of let's play three random pc engine games as i said leave a comment if you've got any thoughts about any of the games i've featured in this episode i'll be back with another one of these in the future and lots of other retro gaming content in the meantime thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time